Welcome back everyone, this is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the Tom O'Brien Show. If you take a look right over here on my screen, I'm taking a look right now at the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is one, Basil is here today, but then second, he just had a fantastic live webinar for all of his subscribers. That was on November 14th. It was sector rotations, former vowed of big losers uh, that are becoming uh, winners, analyzing weekly timeframes to gauge intermediate term trends, so much more. Uh, I sat and admin that whole thing, as did our producer, and uh, we both thought it was fantastic. And so we're happy to have Basil Chapman right back on. Basil, how are you doing? I'm doing well, uh, Jacob. And uh, yes, uh, thank you for that. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the uh, webinar, and we got into areas that we don't often get into because it gave us time to just look at places that we haven't been in before or we've looked at before haven't gone in but now it's appropriate time so over the next few weeks it's going to be very nice to be able to uh, rotate through the different sectors and uh, so with that said I just wanted to mention something um, in the idea of rotation sometimes the rotation means that you're actually staying in a sector through the next phase of the market. Right. Um, and that's important as well. And that's really the case because I just wanted to review quickly. You know, we were talking about um, Bitcoin. And I said uh, a little while ago, I had a, a buy on the Bitcoin. We got the IBIT at about 38. That's the Bitcoin iShares. I and they're trading right now at an all-time high. And this rotation was because of patterns. And one of the things we looked at as well were certain patterns that repeat. And one of the patterns that repeats is a cup. And you can see in this monthly chart of the, um, this is the Bitcoin futures, you've got the cup formation. Mm -hmm. So you've got the ball formation. That's the major, major arch, uh, major uh, boat pattern. Right. If you're listening on, on the radio, and then you've got the little handle. This is like a teacup. You've got a little handle. And if you can apply your technical analysis correctly and get, as it's coming out of this handle, for another move to the upside, to break uh, to the upside, and that is a pattern that I love. It's called, in a certain way, it's got the potential to go from the deepness of the handle mm -hmm all the way to the top, and that's kind of what we're seeing. And the chapman wave, we're always looking for leg D, the fourth highest peak. You can see peak D right there. The fourth highest peak was the high back and uh, just going into 2022 at the, uh, I think it was 78,000. It goes tumbling down to the 20,000s, and here it's back up at 94. So it took out that uh, right side peak at C, pulled back, and it went higher. So to me, that's really important. So... We are still in this phase, and we're still liking um, the Bitcoin as it stands right. And they're getting a little toppy, but if yeah. you've got the stochastic at 88%, that's really what you want to see up in the 80 90% and flat. I love that. So that was one thing that I want to talk about. The other is that we, we had been speaking about uh, uranium. Yes. And I spoke about Uranium Energy Corporation. We had been in it some time ago from the threes. It went to the eights. We got out. And we got back recently um, in the sixes. And here it is at 8.49. And it's got the same. You remember the little cup pattern that we were looking at in the uh, weekly and the monthly charts of the uh, Bitcoin? Same pattern. Patterns repeat. It's the fractal of human nature. So we've got the same thing here in the daily chart. Here's your cup formation about to test the 867 high that was made back on the 21st of October. Today's high is 856, so it's 855. It's very close. But now you've got all oh, it's it's not really a it has the characteristic of a of the cup pattern in the weekly chart, even though it's lopsided. The, the idea is it goes from one point and makes a kind of like a gravy cup lopsided cup formation and breaks out. There's another pattern I'll talk about. I can do it on my show tomorrow, the Tiger Technicians Hour, called the Falling Axe, where it comes, it starts to make lower highs and much lower lows. And then all of a sudden, it turns around and starts to break that resistance level. Well, that's what it's done. So you think of this more like a cup and a handle. So uranium, uh, I think it's acting very well. We had said that there's a chance that for 2024, we've been saying it all year, that there's a chance that this could be one of the big winners of 2024. And so far, it's acted very well. And then I wanted to just, because we were we were talking about relationships, we spoke about, spoke about this S&P 500 um, acting so well, going to all-time highs. 
and that the laggard, the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, which is lagging, should play catch up. And we've been long the IWM since the low of um, August, actually the day after the low. And it's done. it had done very well. It went to 242, just under the all-time high of 244.46 back in November of 2021. And now it should. This is going to be a should. I don't know if it will. I'm hoping it has almost filled in this gap, but it should start moving from where it is now, 230 to the uh, 233 and then 235 area over the next two weeks. That, that's kind of what I'd be looking at. And then to go with the theme that I'm looking at that I said um, both gold and Bitcoin have a lot of Robin Hood players in it. I like that very much, and we wanted to buy Robin Hood, and we were able to get Robin Hood in the 16s back in the August low. And here we are at uh, 35, making uh, a recovery high as we speak at 35.59. Hood is a symbol. So these are the themes that we were looking at, and then we did go into a gold stock. Uh, actually, gold itself, the physical gold, it's called uh, the PHYS is the symbol. Um, just as a trade, because I think that there's, you know, there's an, enough hazards out there that says maybe gold can now have another bounce. So that's kind of thematically what we've been looking at. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and, and again, folks, if you've never subscribed to the opening call newsletter, you can do so right now, and it is risk-free for 30 days. If for whatever reason, it doesn't work out for you. But seriously, after that webinar, after reading, you know, just the newsletter uh, applications or however you want to call it, submissions afterwards, I mean, it really is such a, a good deal for the value. So, Basil, thank you uh, again for that. I, I really enjoyed it. It's one of the perks, I think, of working here at TFNN is that I get to see all those things for free and I get to tell people that they really need to check it out because uh, it was fantastic. So, Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, Basil, we will see you uh, tomorrow morning, right? 10 a.m. Eastern time? For the time so of admissions I'll go through some of these patterns in my show, I'll repeat them and, and go through them in a little bit more detail. So you can, and I'll also be talking about the 914. This uh, one of my one of my technical tools that I really believe in. I call it the technical indicator of last resort. Look at this: the Dow has been pulling back, and yet that 914 has been holding so beautifully. It's like oh, support yeah. for the market. So I'll be talking about that as well. Fantastic. Well, Basil, we we'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time, right here on TFNN. Thank you very much, Jacob. Have Take care, Basil. Evening. Yeah, and, and seriously, guys, like just I, I say it not because I just work here, but really because, I mean, it gives me good value. And, you know, I mean, things like Hood and stuff like that were not things that people were really looking at, you know, and Basil and the charts he had. I mean, even I remember Uranium like two years ago, and he was still able to see with his charts, with his analysis, that you're going to get some major move ups in it. And uh, that's that's precisely what it's been doing. And so I really do think it's a fantastic value. Strongly recommend uh, checking that out for everyone who hasn't seen it right now. Let's take a look right now just in the broad market before we go to break here. The composite about 0.9% trading at 18,963 of the Dow off about 0.33% at 43,246 of the dollar. Uh, kind of sideways right now, 106.19. You get that SPY trading up about 0.3%. To 8% and crude not doing too much. Folks, you stay right there. We'll be right back with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle after this break. <laughs> 